Oh snap, you see what I'm seeing? Two more boxes of Dark Saviors, guys. Uh, this video is only going to be one. We're going to do one per video. Um, if you haven't already watched, we've opened one so far. So these will box, be box number two and box three. We're looking for those Sky Striker cards. They are super expensive. Maybe engage. You know, pretty much whatever. <laughs> Alrighty. So with that, just so you guys know, um, after these uh, Gold Series and Dark Saviors boxes are finished, I think we might do one more special edition opening. But um, after that, we're going to be doing some Dungeon Dice Monsters uh, playthroughs and, and also booster pack openings from that set. So yeah, please don't forget to subscribe and like if you do enjoy the videos. I also have a link in the description for my Facebook for anyone that may be interested. <laughs> All right. Bravo, Shadow Vampire, and uh, I guess Sagitta, Maverick Fur Hire. All right, first Seeker Rare. We're gonna put the Fur Hires over here. Any uh, any of the uh, Vampires over here, and Sky Strikers in the middle. All right, we already opened some of these, so I'm not gonna go through every card and read it. But uh, yeah, oh. Oh, nice! Afterburners! Okay, that's not bad. Alright, hey. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, we're trying to... Really, I guess what's happening is I'm, I'm just really opening these boxes for you guys. I'm probably just going to sell the cards, to be honest. Um, I don't have time to play just right now because I've been working like so much work. And uh, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, Magical Citadel of Endymion. Seek Rare is beautiful. But uh, with all the overtime I'm doing at work, I'm working like 14 hour days. And then you know, I've got two daughters. Fiance always wants to go do something. Eventually I will start playing the game again, just not uh, not for now. Right now it's just buying boxes, product, so you guys can enjoy. And oh, vampire. <laughs> Vampire's domain. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, vampire stuff we'll put right here. Alright. Yeah, and uh, you know, one thing I do want to say, a lot of people are like, eh, buy singles instead of buying these boxes. To be honest, I think if you have the money for a couple boxes, Raphael, champion for hire, I think buying a box would be well worth it um, as a long-term investment. You know, see if you can get some of those Sky Striker high dollar cards right off the bat. If you don't, um, save some of these good supers for later because they eventually will be you know, a couple bucks. It's kind of like the Secret Forces. Oh, Sky Striker Mecha Modules multi roll. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I almost dropped it. <laughs> All right, that's a you know decent price one there. One's like I think eleven or twelve bucks or so. Afterburners, I don't think I don't think that's it's like one of the uh, lower ones I believe. But still, we need it for the deck. All right, Horn of the Phantom Beast. Ooh, Ray. And, uh, training for hire, for all your training needs. Such a pun on words. Ugh. I can't remember the legit TCG name or the original, like, translation, <clears throat> but it sounded way cooler. Uh, what was it? I don't know. I lost it. <laughs> and, uh, I think that they should have kept whatever it was, because fur hire is just, it's punny, but, yeah. And Vampire Scarlet Scourge. Nice. We got also another ray. It's three in a row, I believe. Let's put this right here. Boop, boop. Move this little dual disc over here under. Yeah, the little dual disc I actually got out of one of those mystery cubes, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, they're not usually worth it, but uh, they, they, they make interesting openings. And you never know, you can get the Digusta Emerald. <laughs> Dark Greffer with that new structure deck. All right, and Sky Striker Jamming Waves. Okay, another Seeker Rare. All right, we actually um, out of the first box opening, uh, we got a you know a lot of well, we got a couple duplicates. I can't remember. I think Jamming Waves may have been one of those duplicates actually. <clears throat> and it was funny as crap. If you haven't watched, it, I'm not going to spoil it. But when I opened the pack with uh, the main card of the set. 
it was hilarious the way it happened. <laughs> All right, and another there's another Sagita or Sagita. I don't know how you say that. All right, and then yep, Dark Greffer. It's pretty cool. All right, you got two more packs for the right side here. It's been pack number or the second to last pack for that. Tune table of contents, beautiful foil print. Sorry, tournament pack or whatever the other one was. CP <laughs> Vampire Domination. Okay. And uh, yep, dude, tune table of contents. I'm definitely gonna hold on to all those because they're not worth like a crazy. I mean, they're worth a couple bucks, but um, I don't know. If that card gets in on the ban list, I wouldn't be surprised just because it's literally trading one card for three. Vampire's Desire. All right. And another Lore of Darkness and another Tune Table. Oh mm, my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So on to side number two. Uh, the left side of the box. What can we get? Can we get the Engage? We'll see here in a second. Maybe it'll be the one pack that I can't open again. <laughs> All right. Power, or spell Power Grasp. Vampire. Trying to Mirror Force. Mystic Tomato. And... Dyna, Hero for Hire. Jeez. Oh, Boop. Yeah, I'm going to start doing pack openings for the newer sets. Um, for any of my subscribers, you guys probably noticed I just do kind of random stuff. Um, you know, I'm going to start doing this where when a set releases, okay. Domper, Vampire Sheridan. Damper, Vampire Sheridan. That's pretty cool. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're going to start doing the brand new sets on the channel. Um, this one I want a little bit more than I should have probably. My fiance hates me right now. If I get the engage and sell it, she'll be probably happy. But <laughs> if I don't make my money back, she might be a little salty. All right, Scapegoat. Sky Striker. Helmer. Bravo. Wiz. Sage for Hire. Boop. Yep. <clears throat> Drowning Mirror Force is a super rare. That card's been printed a couple times now. Not the same level as regular Mirror Force, but oh, Sky Striker. Oh, Shark Cannon. Okay, I mean, hey, that's nice. Dang it, I keep... I don't want to grab them too much because my, my hands are kind of hurting today. I don't know why. We're getting variety here. We just need two more. I think there's two more. Two more Seeker Rares. All right. Seal Strategist. Crimson Knight, Recon Scout, uh, Vampire Fraulein, Fraulein, okay, oh. Helmer, Helmsman for Hire, Bravo, Seal, oh, <laughs> Widow Anchor, shit, yeah, oh my gosh, that's, uh, that's epic. <laughs> Dude, if we get engaged, this is gonna be this is gonna be something. Get one of everything. <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh man. So by the way, um, I get comments every once in a while. Why don't you have a face cam? I'm working on it. Um, in a couple months, I will have a like a face cam, so you guys can kind of see my live reaction. Beat Bladesman for hire. Yeah, I've uh, been kind of trying to figure it out. We've, we've had, I actually just got a new car on top of. You know, getting a house and whatever else. So I'm like super broke right now. I'm working a bunch of overtime to try to make up for it. Oh, Vampire's Desire, you troll. You trolled me. That's our second desire. <clears throat> but, uh, yep. It all comes down to money. If I don't have money, I can't really... I gotta, I gotta take care of my babies first. Armageddon Knight. Skystra Mecha Eagle Booster. Ah, Raphael, you suck, dude. I think I've gotten two of him in uh, each box so far. <laughs> I'm having problems with these packs. Vampire Koala. I mean, it's a vampire card, so it's cool. And uh, training for hire for all your training needs. Your for hires are coming into the duplicates. Two packs left, guys. Oop, I dropped a pack. This is going to be the one with the freaking engage in it. Just watch. That's literally. Well, not exactly what happened in the, the last video, but... <laughs> Alright, Ray. Very nice. Put you up front, baby. How you doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Vampire Domain, dude. No! <laughs> We're getting them duplicates now. Alright, last pack. 
Come on. Give me some luck. Give me some luck here. Alright. Alright, here it goes. This is what I did like last time. Drop the last card. Let's take a look at these beautiful looking foils. Vampire Awakening. Fandora the Flying Fortress. Another ray. Maybe that's a sign. Got two rays in a row. And it is. Oh, dang. Dina. Hero for Hire. Fudge. <clears throat> well, I mean, out of all of it, though, let's actually. Let's we'll leave this bad boy up. Widow Inker is uh, sitting around like $35 right now. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's still pretty sweet to get that. And uh, I mean, I'm super excited. Still, the rest of the cards. This is like 10 bucks now. So, that's, you know, we'll say 45 for just those two. Um, and also, we did get another Head of Exodia with this box and the third box. So, that's $20 right there back, basically, also. Uh, so, yeah, we have a total of. Uh, Three of these bad boys now, which is pretty sweet. I'll probably keep one and get rid of the other two. All right, you get players. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos and like if you enjoy. We're going to be coming at you guys with this third box. Maybe it hasn't engaged. Maybe it doesn't. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys.